Hey guys, welcome to Miniature Heroes. So firstly, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support and love that you've shown me and for this channel. I've had so many likes and every day there's subscribers signing up to the channel and just so many positive comments about the builds that I've done and some of the paint tutorials that I've put out. So I just want to say a massive thank you so far because it's just been amazing. So in a previous video, I did a paint tutorial for the 9th edition command box set terrain and I mainly focused on the rune buildings. In this video, I'll show you how I painted the pipes and some of the techniques that I used. So first, before I prime all of the pipes, I just give them a thorough inspection just to make sure I haven't left any sprue marks. So first I prime all the pipes in Chaos Black and then once it's fully dried I then spray on some of Citadel's Zandy Dust spray paint and you want to achieve a light coverage all over the pipes whilst retaining some of that Chaos Black in those recessed areas and that's just going to help create some depth and shadows and just make your terrain look a lot more realistic. Next to give these pipes even more depth I then apply a dry brush of Tyrant Skull. Using tissue, I wipe away most of the excess paint, then working in a circular motion, making contact with those high points of the terrain. So if this is your first time dry brushing, basically you want barely any paint on your brush, and you're just making passes back and forth, making contact with those raised sections, and that's just gonna add those highlights and create that contrast and make your terrain really stand out on the table. Next up, to make my terrain look even more realistic, I take some Agrox Earthshade and fill it down with a drop of Lamy Medium. I then apply this to the deepest areas of the pipe, and that's just gonna help darken down those areas and magnify the shadows. So next I paint the pipes that are connected to the control station and the cylinders that are attached to the pipes in corn red. For reference to which parts to paint red, have a look at the artwork inside the command edition manual. So next for the metal parts on the terrain, I paint with lead belcher. This will be the fans, vents and control boxes. So next, to bring out some of that detail on the terrain, I paint all of the pipework in Mechanica Standard Grey. I thin this down, one part water, one part paint ratio. Now when you're working with small detail on the terrain, by thinning it down, it's just going to give you a lot more control, and when it fully dries, you can have a really super smooth finish. Then I apply a shade of non-oil all over the pipework. I also give a shade of non-oil on those pipes that was connected to the control system and those cylinders that I painted in corn red. Okay. 
And as for the metals that I painted in Lead Belcher, I gave all of those a shade of Agrax Earth Shade. So next for the skull, the Cog Mechanicus, I thinned down some Corex White, one part water, one part paint, and then I paint the right side of the skull, the left side of the Cog, and then the lens. So next for the right side of the clog, I paint in Abaddon Black. I thin this down, one part water, one part paint. When it's fully dry, I go over the entire clog with a dry brush of Necron Compound. So next for all the metal parts on the terrain I wanted to add some rust so using a sponge to add texture I sponged on some Avalon Sunset, once it had dried I then sponged on some burnt sienna and then after that I applied a small amount of burnt umber. I would recommend looking at some photo references of rusted pipes and vents just to give you some inspiration. So next just to weather those pipes a little bit more and add some paint chippings I'm using a small amount of Rinox Hide and I'm just sponging this over the pipes. So just to finish off for the skull I use some Tesseract Glow for the lens and for those broken pipes I dry brush on some Abaddon Black. <laughs> <laughs> 